We begin our roundup of day nine in Troyes, where veteran midfielder Benjamin Nivet thrashed home the game's only goal in the 89th minute. A first win in League One this season for Troyes at the expense of Marseille, who thus seed first place in the championship to PSG. A bad night all round for OM, with striker Andre Pierre Gignac going off injured after only 18 minutes. Elibor sums up. There's the fact that we didn't manage to score, even though we created plenty of chances. That's obviously very frustrating. And then there's the injury to André Pierre Gignac, which is quite serious, as it's a fractured metatarsal. Uh, so that's quite hard to take as well. Ultimately, it's the fact that we conceded a goal from a corner in the last few minutes. It's really very frustrating. Dans les dernières minutes, voilà, il y a beaucoup de, de frustration. A delighted Baffer Timbi Gomez celebrates his goal, which enabled Lyon to claim a 1 0 home victory over Brest and climb to third in League One. An exquisite chip from Steve Malbronk and a cool lobbed finish from Gomez for his fifth league goal of the season. Lorient saw red in every sense of the word as they travelled to Valenciennes on Saturday. First Arnaud Lelain and then the aptly named innocent Emagara were sent off by referee Alexandre Castro for these rash challenges. Reduced to nine, Lorient saw their unbeaten start to the campaign blown to pieces as the host fired in six goals. This gem of a volley from Anthony Le Tailleg and this final goal from Vincent Aboubacar. Both putting a smile on the face of Valenciennes president Jean-Daniel Lecoq. It's my son's birthday today and I'd promised him a good present. Six goals, it's fantastic for the crowd, just listen to them. I'm very happy to play. After nearly ten hours without their team scoring a goal, the Nancy fans took it upon themselves to lend a helping hand with this practical, the goal is here sign. It was apparently an effective tactic, as Sebastian Pudgrenier put an end to 609 minutes of misery by putting the host 1-0 up against Socho. Unfortunately, the home fans hadn't counted on this superb strike from another Sebastian, a certain Monsieur Houdet, who crashed home to save a point for the visitors. Claude Puel's grimace says it all. Dario Kvitanic missed this penalty in the 85th minute, which could have meant three points for Nice. The home side nevertheless got off to a bright start against Saint-Étienne, with a superb team goal finished off by Eric Boutillac. Lévin never gave up hope and pulled one back through Brandao, 15 minutes from time. Almost half the penalties taken in League One this season have failed to go in, as Rance discovered shortly before half-time against PSG, with Sirigu palming away Diego's effort. Rance would have left Parc des Princes with plenty of regrets, as they failed to capitalise on a host of chances. When we had our chances, we needed to take them. In the first half, we should have gone in front, and clearly you can never relax against a team with an attack like PSG's. True enough as PSG upped the tempo in the second half and claimed the game's only goal. Maxwell crossing in for Kevin Gamero's first headed goal in red and blue. Things go from bad to worse with champions Montpellier. A fifth defeat of the season away to Rennes with Jean Dumacoun heading home from a corner in the 13th minute and Mevlut Erding skipping past Laurent Pionnier shortly after half time. A late Eunice Belhanda penalty wasn't enough to save the visitors. 2 1 the final score. Toulouse can no longer hide their European ambitions after a stylish 4-0 win over Evian Tonon Gaillard. They open the scoring after a delicious strike from Frank Tabernou, and Alan Casanova will have been happy to see the club's record signing, Emmanuel Riviere, claim a brace in this game, as he hasn't had the easiest run since joining TFC. A first goal before half-time, and then this gem in the 50th minute. Toulouse up to fourth. Cedric Carrasso has every right to look upset. Once again, Bordeaux could see the goal in injury time. The visiting Lille saving a point in the 93rd minute through Marco Bassa, who fractured his nose heading this one in. Yet Bordeaux had started well with a goal from the returning Ludovic Abraniak in the 18th minute. But with six draws in nine games, wins aren't coming easy for the Girondins. A brief look ahead to day 10, which sees Saint-Étienne and Rennes open proceedings on Friday evening. Lille face a test when they host Valenciennes at the Grand Stade, while Sunday's big game sees second and third face-off when Lyon travel to Marseille.